What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I, uh... We're doing another cube draft here. Um... Yeah, so winmore.com, you asked if I worked for Cool Stuff Inc. Um, currently, I write for Cool Stuff Inc. Um, and then you asked if I'm a full-time streamer. I'm also a full-time streamer. How did I get my foot in the door? Ten years ago, I wrote an email to... Here's my, here's, here's my origin story. I'm going to take... Fiery Confluence and maybe Hellrider Tables. Maybe we just mono read it. My origin story is about eight, ten years ago now, actually. I sent him an email to uh, someone at TCG Player. And I was like, hey, this is who I am. This is what I've done. I'm looking to get my foot in the door and start writing. So I told them, like, all my PTQ top eights. I told them, like, who I well, like, what my desires were. And um, he was like, yeah, sure. That's a, that sounds good. And, uh, you know, we'll give you, we'll, you can have a weekly article or whatever. So I started writing for TCG Player at the time. Um, well, this is not great for the mono. Ah, Monster Sister is actually very good. All right. That seems fine. So then I started writing for cool, uh, for uh, TCG Player for about a year and a half, two years. And then because of just the popularity of my articles, I think, and like how consistent I was, they were like, hey, we'd like to bring you on full time. And I was like, oh. That sounds great because I'm, I just, you know, I was just graduated college. I wasn't sure like what I wanted to do. And, um, so this was like a great opportunity. So I, I worked for TCG player for like seven years after that as the content manager, the community manager and the editor, some form of all of those things, uh, while writing two articles a week, you know, so I would enter all the deck lists on the site. I would write our newsletter. I would edit all the articles that came in. Like if anything went up on the site in those seven years, like it went through me most of the time. Um, and you know, I was also putting out my own articles every week and eventually me and TCG, TCG player went our separate ways in like 2016. I top aided the pro tour. I top aided a grand prix and glory bringer seems good. Um, then I started working. I started writing. I, but it, star city games bought my tournament report for me for the pro tour so that was cool. So I had an article go up on Star City Games. So I was like, okay, now I've written for TCG Player and Star City Games. And then um, then I had uh, TCG, then I, then I wrote for Channel Fireball after that for like two years. So I was I was the, the, the co-host for, for Magic TV on Channel Fireball for like two years. Every time someone, you know, because they would have two people live in the studio, but if they couldn't get a second person, I would come in and I would do Magic TV with them. And I would, I would, they would Skype me in. And it was it was awesome. I loved it. They, they, Channel Fireball was great to me. And uh, at the time, I also did some coverage for Hearthstone for Blizzard. And I also did um, a lot of the preliminary content for Bethesda's Elder Scrolls Legends, which was their card game. Eh, Zergo's not impressive, but I'm going to take it because it's the only good card in this pack. Um, so this is all at the same time. This is me. And I also, <laughs> it's funny because during this time, I also wrote for Newmont Gaming and I also wrote for MTG Card Market. So like there was like a plethora of like, I just had my hands in like so many different, different, different pots. Um, and then at the end of 20... 18 maybe 2017 uh i stopped writing for channel fireball i wanted to start streaming full time which i did and you know just promote to promote to like not commit to like full-time content on youtube and for channel and, and for um uh twitch but then i didn't write for anywhere for like two years a year and a half and i was like i just kind of miss having that stream of income and that um that just having having content out there every week in written form on a site, you know. So I, I I reached out to Cool Stuff and I was like, hey, are you guys looking for anyone to write? And so now I now I write for Cool Stuff as well. So and I also joined Team Fade to Karma earlier this year. So that's pretty much been my my content experience. So yeah, I, I pretty much been a jack of all trades in um in terms of magic. Jeez, I think it's actually Rekindling Phoenix. It could be Banefire though. I don't think we're gonna Banefire for that much though in the mono red deck. Could also take Mutavault. Actually, Mutavault might be the correct play here.
and rekindling phoenix might come back i think i heard mike get back so i'm just gonna slow <clears throat> i'm gonna slow roll these picks here so he can he can be here for the for whatever he wants whatever that means i don't even think that makes any sense yeah so i've pretty much been a uh oh we've also um i i have also written for pc gamer as well so Yeah, I definitely feel like a, a jack of all trades and a master of of none. I've been a, definitely been a content creator for the past ten years in some form or another. Yeah, I was looking in my I, I keep most of my articles in Google Docs, um, and I was looking and it's uh it's funny because I've submitted uh probably about seven hundred fifty thousand words. So, winmore.com. I appreciate you saying so, buddy. It's definitely um a skill you kind of have to work towards. It's definitely not super easy. So. Ooh, young Pyromancer. Probably good in the mono red deck because you're actually uh, casting spells. I'm really hoping Hellrider comes back. If no one else has read it, probably will. Smuggler's Copter. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, no Hell Rider, I guess. Someone else wanted it. That sucks. Take Dark Confidant. The sad thing is none of these cards were like... There were no red cards in these packs anyway, so... Kind of stuck with what we have. Josh, I appreciate you too, my dude. Thank you so much for the support that you've given me over the past few years, man. I really appreciate it. Any luck on the apartment? No. No, the rental house, the house I live in, uh, is, has been no, no, I mean, like, no. I actually, I would not be surprised if Jake's offer was genuine. Wow, not, oh, Goblin God. I was like, not a single red card. And then there is one red card here. So... No, Jake's never made an offer like that and didn't mean it. My friend Jake was like, well, we got a spare room. And, uh, you know, high-speed internet. And I was like, oh, dang. That's tempting, my dude. How did the first day of Bioshock go? It actually went great. I loved it. It was super enjoyable. Eidolon? Alright, we're getting all the choice cards. Uh, yeah. Oral, I don't know if we're Facebook friends, but feel free to check my Facebook post. I got high speed internet. Oh man, Kerwit. Yeah, I'll just I'll just live on the floor for, for six months with you and uh, the dog and the cat can just... Well, I don't know what they can do, I guess. My 
Michael B is taking his time. He's got donuts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got donuts. We're gonna we're gonna take this idle on, but we're just waiting for Mike B to get back, so. You can sleep in my computer room. Yeah, but then it's my computer room, buddy. I feel like as someone who streams, like if I had a job that I can go out every day, I wouldn't need like a place to call my own early. I could just go out, you know, hang out with friends, come home and just need a place to sleep. But if I, you know, if I'm staying in a place and like, I'm, I'm going to be in the house all day because I work from home, like I probably need a place to like call my own, you know. Goblin Dark Dwellers. I'm really glad I took Fiery Confluence. I wish the Hellrider came back. He might actually be making out with a donut. That's true. One problem is that my desk is like 72 inches long. It's super long. It's actually a... It's a piece of... It's a cabinet from... It's a, not a, ca a countertop from, from Ikea that I turned into a desk. So it's super long. And I hope I can find a room that can accommodate a desk this size. Are you going to eat your donuts in here? Yeah. Oh, my God. Guys, you're going to watch Michael eat his his fat donuts. I guess it's just... Well, I'm not going to eat them now. Oh. Maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to give it to you. You okay. handle the rest. <laughs> the rest is up to you, man. I'm going to take Revoker, I guess. Oh, the draft isn't even over? What? The draft isn't even over? No, I, I slow rolled it so that you can get here, but then you're taking your time. Wow. Yeah, now it's just Shrine. All the the best part about Mono Red is that all the picks are super obvious. You're like, oh, Siege again, Commander. Sounds good. So what do you got so far? Goblin oh. Guide, Source Sphere, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Peasy, Eidolon, Nurse Revoker, Library Mage, Revoker, Shahar, Vortex. Wow, this deck looks great. Now we got Lightning Bolt. Talmoth comes back. Bloodstain Mire could be good. Do I like Faithless Looting? Maybe. No. Oh, Not well. No. It just gets you out of, like, mana screw situations where you just draw too many mana. Well, that's still a screw, right? Maybe not. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you are wrong. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for the permission, Dr. Michael. You're welcome. Alright, I'm gonna have a bite of this down it. The reason I didn't want it because I don't think there's any peppermint involved, right? No. It's vanilla, though. Mom Ruby would be nuts. Mom Ruby! Michael be so good. I guess it's just Rakdos to return. I mean, if you have a black mana. Yeah, this is what happens. Like, we get a first round of good cards, then we have nothing on the wheel. Because there's only, like, one good red card in each pack. So, despite getting, like, all the top tier red picks... You should have took the copper one, Gordon, in case you got a four grid off. Wow. Thanks for your input, Michael. Watch him stuff his face. <clears throat> you ever really prep any food on this table? I've never prepped any food on this table, no. Good. I couldn't because it's sealed and it's got... You know, I probably could. You know, you know what? You could. I, don't say, I didn't say it was a good idea, but you could. Yeah, I guess I could. You could prep food on anything. You could prep it on your on on your bee hole if you wanted to, on your mic. That would be difficult. On, but you could do it. Small area. That's <laughs> not what your mom told me. What? I didn't quite hear you. What? Take the mana player to screw over a spawn player. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, sword's fine. Oh, Reggie, occasionally in the black. That sword's pretty good too, though. What's wrong with you? No, that's, that's okay. Oh, there's an oath of druids. Not, not soon enough though. 
All right, we really need this last pack to to feed us. To feed us with the big To what? Hmm? To what? Hmm? I think it's Mox and then Diamond Burst Lighting might come back. Or the, uh, the Bow Mat. I'm going to take this Mox Diamond. I think Burst or Bow Mat Courier will definitely wheel. I don't think anyone wants. I think they'll both wheel. Well, I guess we'll see. P and Kieran R? That's fine. Yep. That's bodies. But 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 bodies. Michael, but but bodies. Dire Fleet Daredevil. There's that Bloodbird Elf you were looking for. Mm-hmm. 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 Pretty sure it's Dire Fleet. Oh, Seething Song. Combo. So you get a pack like this and you're like, well, that's just trash. Yeah, you gotta pick another color here. What? Do I? Yeah. Oh, Bob's fine. Bracto Signet. <laughs> Fire. Ren and Six, Lightning Helix, Empty the Warrens. Bitter Blossom. I mean, I'd rather have Bracto Signet than Bitter Blossom at this point because. I'd rather be able to cast these the black spells that okay. we're clearly leaning into. As Michael B. claims to be. Rakdos damn near killed. Well, that's close. That's close. But Fire Confluence does waste a <coughs> mode with destroy target <coughs> artifact. I don't understand. Bone Trader? I just don't care about Bone Trader at all. Why not? I just don't like Get the it. blocker out of the way. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, it's like I, it's like saying I don't like blue modal spells that bounce something, you know. Jeez. Oh, Avalanche Runner's fine. Mm. Yeah. All right. Splinter Twin and a Pestermite in the same Galdarn pack. Mm. I don't think it's this. Check the reaches here. Yeah. Oh, but my career came back. Metamorphos came back. Cool. That's funny because we also could have gotten uh, empty. Seething Song and Empty and uh, Desperate Ritual. We could have like four rituals. <clears throat> this is 23. Is this just our deck? Consider playing Rakdos Return. I mean, how much is X really going to be for, though? It only needs to be for a couple. Well, Michael, you know what they say. Oh, look, you did exist using song. <coughs> oh, 
Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby. You know that song? No. You really don't? No. Hmm. Wow. So. All the rituals came back. Listen to Iron Maiden. Thank you. Alistair Kane with the gifted subs. Adam, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Like, we can play Seething Song thank and Metamorphose you. and Ritual. Cut these guys. Cut one of these sordos. Let's hope to get there with it. I mean, even if you hit like two for for Empty the Warrens, it's still pretty good, right? That's just a better one of these, right? Wow, last pick Pack Rat? That's pretty good. Pack Rat just wins games. This whole ritual thing is way too cute. I don't think that's going to work. Wow. You're a real scumbag, you know that? <clears throat> Bobby? Siggy? Yeah, this seems fine. We got the Duretti in here. Do you want the Duretti in here? Uh, yeah, I like the Duretti. Here's the creatures to crew this thing. That's true. Two thirteen. No, we'll go like four, five, ten, ten plus five is fifteen. So yeah, seems fine. Yeah, I guess that's... Uh, oh, uh, Meat Vault over one Swamp, actually. All right. Let's do it. This is not the best, but... Sometimes... Thank you! You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to hold them. Oh, Alistair came with another gifted sub. Thank know you so much, my dude. Them. Adam, you're awesome, man. I appreciate you. <clears throat> You gotta know when to shut the hell up is what you need to know how to do. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. 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 Keep it. If we hit a second land, his hand is juice. You know what? I agree with you. Well, you guys are all saying keep it. No guts, no glory. No gamble, no future. No, what? no scramble, no eggs. What? This bag is too big. I shall cut it. Alright. Go with Bowman first, huh? Yeah, I want to maximize the number of cards I get. <clears throat> This is a slower clock, though. By one damage. Mm -hmm. And we get one extra card. How did you get this in here without a, pl without a piece of paper on here? I threw the paper out. Really? Yeah. Why, you just leave it in the bag? Yeah. No, I just throw it out. Weird. I mean, it's garbage. Just like you. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, there's a guy this game. I do agree with Frank Shrine here. You want to get as much ticks as you can? Must ticks as you can. <clears throat> there's no way this guy's blocking, right? Not that a chance. It'd be great if he bl blocked. That'd be that'd probably be good for us. It's a good trade. I'll take it. Keep boom, 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 boom. I want more land so I can play both of these. And then I'll. Oh, he's That'd thinking be about sick. it. I was like, he's thinking about it. Make sure you play the Goblin Guide first. Thank you. It's like you're dissecting it. Well, I'm trying not to get my hand in here because it's got all the frosting on the bag now. Ah. So when you put the paper over it, then I could just pull the paper out. 
and then I have a nice collected donut that doesn't have icing all over the bag. So that when I stick my hand in there, I don't get icing all over my hand. I prefer you to suffer. Clearly. I think you prefer yourself to suffer. <clears throat> Fudge! Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What are you looking at? Are you, are you trying to play auto one? Okay. Oh, they're like, nah, I'm, I'm good. Nice. We just got a free damage. Unbelievable. It's going to be a little harder to fix. Well, <coughs> it's true. It does have trample. Uh -huh. It's also known as a big boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, What? No, well, that's weird. Um, what is right? <laughs> uh huh. Did you just type cringe? I bet he's ghosting. Really? Yeah, that was just a really weird comment to say. Well, it doesn't have to do with anything, though. This <sighs> is <laughs> <I'm> source. <laughs> uh, what's your source here? That's can there we go. Land's good. Oh boy. That's something. Wow, they're at 17, huh? That's pretty good. Sort of light and shadow. Yep, that's all I need to see. Not the best red deck we got here, guys. Yeah, they just kind of had a quick draw. <clears throat> Did they? I feel like a pretty average draw for a for a green deck. What made you go red? Uh, I don't know. Fire confluence. I just felt like doing something different. <coughs> How 
How is Siege getting slow, but Rakdos' return not slow? Like, Rakdos' return, we're going to have to pay at least five for it to be any anywhere near impactful. What the opponent types from Biohazard? Do you mean Bioshock? No, it wouldn't be Bioshock because Christ isn't the figure in Bioshock, is he? True. <clears throat> Thank you! Oh, what up, Jake? Good seeing you, my dude. Bioshock? Is it Bioshock? I don't know. Which one of those mountains was a swamp? That would be kind of great. You know what? Quit whining. Why not? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, figure that one out, I chump. Can't, I can't. <laughs> I was like, what? Quit whining. Why not? Got that green sunny it's for one. It's dead. Bow, bow, Off bow. to the races, boys. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the figure in Bioshock is not Christ. It's like it's just not. That's not the narrative. It's just a religious narrative. Not. It's not specifically Christian. So. Do you just play the dire fleet here? I don't think we're going to get anything from it. I agree with you, actually. Right, Comstock and Star Story. Are you, are you agreeing with me, or are you saying that? <clears throat> Need to claim the Vortex. Sure. Okay. Well, do-do. Yeah, do-do, as Mike would say. Do-do. It's do-do-do. It's mm -hmm. a big boy. Yep, that's hard to deal with. Unfortunately, I don't think our deck can beat that. Right? <laughs> it's just a 5-5. Five five. We're just like, well, Good. see you later. I guess we'll just play this. His self Eric Vortex is bigger. It does 5 damage a turn to us. It's true. It's true. <laughs> It is true. No. What? No. Yes. Maybe. I don't know what you're saying, man. He does not vortex you. I vortex you. Oh, I wonder what they're going to do. They're going to have a little fight. No, we get all that, but yeah, like I don't understand it. I'm, I'm not getting. I'm not. I'm not misunderstanding the uh, the metaphor in the game. I'm just telling you that he didn't. He used literally the term Christ instead of like Comstock or whatever. Right. So it's not a quote from the game. It's not from Bioshock because otherwise you wouldn't use the word Christ. Because quite as far as I can tell, Christ is not referenced in the game. <sighs> this this deck seems terrible. See you later, weirdo. Thoughts on the Full Art Lands and Theros? They look sweet. They're Full Art Lands and Theros? Oh my god, dude. I've been keeping For up all the spoilers. time you fucking sit on Twitter and Reddit, it's unbelievable that you're living in the dark. Unbelievable. We want I'm just looking at Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> just like we all are. There's like this meme that's like, uh, it's from, I, I can't tell what scene it's from, but it's got. Uh, 
Ben Cumbersnack in it, and uh, it's Ben like a, Cumbersnack. It's about the the decade of the year, and it's like no baby Yoda, no baby Yoda, no baby Yoda, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I have no idea any of the words you just said. I was making fun of his name. Who? Ben? Yeah. I don't know who that is. The actor. Who's Ben? Benedict Cumberbatch. I can't hear you. What? That's. I think you're tired of Baby Yoda because you're actually a hater deep inside. Yeah. Fuck, you are one of the biggest haters I've ever met. Though I hate. I Every time we bring up something that's like popular, you're, you're just like, like oh, I hate I'm it. so tired of it. Ah, oh, mainstream things that people enjoy. Ah, oh. and I'm just like, all right. He dude. plays Mr. Weird in the Marvel universe. <laughs> Well, we're dead. Not yet. No, next turn. But in the future... What a buy three one oh one two, which is a really hard name. I'm an old man, I'm allowed... I guess so. We're just going to call you out on it, though. It's a real let people enjoy things situation. Thank you. Oh, we're not dead. Bye. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. They're going to get in for one first, and then we're dead. We survived. Huh. We survived the great putrid imp uh, again of 2019. Putrid imp again. <laughs> oh, that turtle dove. Turtle bird? Oh, turtle dove. What did you say? You. Turtle, bur yeah, turtle bird? Turtle bird. <coughs> well, Michael, you know what they say about you. He's a real dirt. Oh, that blanks her deck. Burgle. Good game. Wait, hold on. Two two, two that makes one ones. Two two. two, two zero zero. zero. <laughs> makes, makes one one. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's real good. Yeah, I think we're just dead to that. No, so. I'm just gonna kill it with the ready. Take me to the river. I like it both. That'll do it. Take me to the water. Remember that? Remember Billy Bass? I do remember Billy Bass. I've never seen that Duretti before. Like now you'll never forget him. But you're you're a lesh norn in the trash can. Just bolt it? What does that do? Are you just doing are you just doing Nike? Take me to the river. My name's Michael B. Yeah. Playing against Iweagle. Do 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 Bow wow 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 Michael B's the color of your energy Whoa Shades of Michael B naturally Michael B is so far away <sighs> Lives in the tree. They bribery. Have fun with your bribery, bro. I mean, they get like <clears throat> P and Karen Alar or Glory Bringer. They're gonna get Glory Bringer, probably. They're gonna get Glory Bringer, probably. Yep. yep, it's always Glory Bringer. It is our biggest duder. This is interesting because now we just get to block this guy. I don't think they know this guy doesn't have flying because no one ever knows that. Literally no one has ever known that guy does not have flying. He gets it sometimes. <coughs> sometimes.
I only have two cards. What are the odds they're not good ones? He does look like he's flying. No, guys, he's just jumping. Oh, wow, that was the quickest Mastermind's acquisition. How did you cast that quick and find what you were looking for? Oh, I don't think they did. I think they cast it and hit OK, and then they conceded when they got nothing from it. Well, that's something. I don't think they were out of that game at all. You what? I don't think they were out of that game at all. I think it's. I think the shame was too great. Hmm. I think they shamed their family. Perhaps. Mayhaps. What? You don't know about mayhaps? Is that your aunt? Mayhaps? Yeah. I think like I click, I click my mouse sometimes it's like a tick and I just insta grabbed a swamp and auto conceded, but like I feel like Magic Online is the last game you want to just click your mouse randomly in. I was like, oh god, is he gonna keep this? I'll keep this, but I'm not gonna like it. <clears throat> you ready? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, that's a scary boy. And the merry bells are ringing. That's a scary boy today. Why are you moving? Gamma said, check my Facebook post, dude. I don't really want to explain the whole thing again. Oh, wonderful. See, Michael, this is why this card is just trash. I don't see it. It's just trash. <laughs> just absolute horse shit, Michael. <clears throat> I don't want to put this in the grave. Like, it's a point, right? Like, they just... Wait, what? Why would you not attack? Because they're just going to pay for this. They're going to have to pay for this next turn anyway? I don't know, man. I mean, they might take it. They ain't taking it. Why would they take it? I don't know. So they could just pay during the upkeep next turn? Yeah, maybe. What's wrong with you? You got you got drain damage? What if they wanted to pay for it, huh? Then you just let them not take two. I'll pay for it as long as my opponent's not attacking. Oh, all right. That's nothing. That ain't nothing. We also got seven damage, nine damage in hand if we get to resolve this. Oh, wow. This guy can't even block, right? Oh, no, it can't block if you got Thresh. If you got big Threshers. <clears throat> well, that could have been a good one. Are they just going to discard a Leshnorn? Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Huh? I'm in danger. It's pretty good. If we could have got a Vortex down this turn, it might be able to be erase it, but... I mean, next turn, Voice Tech is still good, because, like, it, but they can't gain the life, which is the relevant part. <laughs> I'm in danger! I don't know why you can play Sing It there. It would have guaranteed our Vortex next turn. Maybe, Michael. Because I don't know if they have this yet, and if we, if we just get six... I don't know. I don't know, man. You gonna kill this guy? Wow, that's really stupid card. Look, Michael. Look with your razor verge thicket eyes. What? Hmm? Chicken face, Michael. Living in the sea today, singing a song about his people. Chicken face, Michael, today. Well, Siggy Piggy. Siggy Piggy. 
Don't do that. Do that. There you go. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like we might be 1 1. Smoking marijuana. What? 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 Villatex, have a good night, buddy. <clears throat> Remember that time you were smoking in the boys' room, Michael? Smoking in the boys' room. I like it whenever you sing something, you laugh this like... <clears throat> Smoking in the boys' room. <sighs> it's always real. They, they killed our thing with our collect the collective brutality. Oh. Is that okay? No. It's Is that okay. okay with you? It's not. I don't like it. I think Vortex has got me. How does he know about Oh, because he saw the collective brutality. <clears throat> I don't like it. Sulfuric Vorty. <laughs> I'm looking at my telephone. Yeah, so they have like they have the top deck here. We won the game. Look at this. 1-1. One, one. What's your mom saying? Nothing specifically. Nothing specifically. <laughs> My mom was saying nothing specifically. Yeah, this hand's a keeper. This is a sneaker, you know. Hello, my name is Michael. I'm talking on my telephone to my mommy. I saved the salami for her. She asked me to call me, call her, but then. She said she's going to bed at one fifteen, and I'm like, you can just text me about it. Michael, I want to hear your voice. <clears throat> Michael, I just need to, I can't go to bed without hearing my little baby boy's voice. Michael, please, I need to hear it. Michael, give me your voice. Michael, let me hear the voice. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's, it's hard to say. I think it's a combination of stress and things. One ate, I ate six ounces of turkey for lunch. Why are you so random? Is that a lot? You don't have six ounces a lot? I don't know what that means, really. How much How much does a can of soda weigh? How, how many ounces is a can of soda? Oh, yeah, those are like 16 ounces, right? No, a can of soda is 12 ounces, Michael. Okay, so that's not a lot, then. <laughs> the whole conversation is just something else, man. Look, man, when I need to know what ounces are... I look it up on the internet. <laughs> oh, Lord. You got the double law in the chat. <laughs> yes. It's Wednesday, my dude. My cringe is right, my dude. Oh, boy. Do you think we bonk into this? Oh yeah, they're never blocking. That'd be insane if they blocked. Oh, 
Oh, you want the buff, the bluff blanc, the bluff blanc, the boof blanc. This is what I have to deal with daily, on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm not. You're not blocking my monastery sister with this oracle. Get out of town. Because we just have anything and it's dead. So, and we get to keep ours. They're drawing a foresto. Mama foresto. And an Edric on the top. No more for resto. <clears throat> Restoration Angel and Forest both have the word rest in them. Is that, you think that's a coincidence? Yes. It's not. Are they going to play Edric? Are they going to play Questing Beast? You could have just put QB in your chat. QB? <laughs> yeah, QB. What does that mean? I meant to say Q boy, but I said QB. Why did you say that instead of the other one? I don't know. I don't even know what the first one means. Q boy? I said QB, the first. Right, but what did you mean to say? Q boy. What does that mean? Questing boy. Questing beast. Oh, Q boy. Yeah. <laughs> God. Here, hold on. I'll, I'll fix it. There you go. Now it says QB. I don't know. You're like I don't know. I said that. I feel you. My landlord texted me on August 30th, telling me the rent was going from 9.90 to 11.75, and I need to let her know by September 1st. I was Jesus. Christ. Fucking landlords are the actual fucking trash of the earth. They're pretty bad. Well, that's like 185 more. It's a pretty big increase. Matthew, you might be onto something here. If Oko made chickens, he wouldn't have been banned. But he made elks and wasn't protected by the almighty chicken lord of Chicken Sunday. True. Chicken facts. I feel like we should really get this down here. Question for Mike B, for Mr. B. Have you ever walked into Michael's craft store and been like, this is mine? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> Holy shit. There's a lot of things we can do here. My theory is really coming out, coming out with these chicken facts, man. Hashtag chicken facts. Hashtag chicken facts. Do 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 do. I kind of just want to make rats here, but I don't know how good of a long-term plan that is. I think it's a great plan. I worry that we'll be dead before it matters. Why? I guess we can actually char the big fat idiot, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We can't do both, so I'll make a rat here. Chicken Facts is the number one accident report for any chicken you are looking to purchase. True that. Hashtag Chicken Facts. Hashtag chicken facts. <laughs> Go gravy, Jesus. Good Lord. Wait, they didn't do anything? What's happening right now? So do they have a questing beast and a forest in hand? Garrick. 
Gary. I'm all out of rats. I'm so lost without you. I knew you had rats. My cool be you have such rats. Yep, Mega Beast. Beastie Boys coming at you. How many rats do you think we can make? Or at least one. Good call. Or seven. Seven rats. Better call. Better call Saul. You've got a lot of fodder for rats here. Bowmaker. Hello, Mutter. Young Pyromancer. Rat fodder. Wipe the board and kill your guy. Ah, forget it. Tend to just char this Garrick, to be honest with you. Yeah, we don't really want it sticking around. But then they get to attack for four next turn. It's kind of gross. How big is Pussing Beast? Do you have four four? Yes. I'm gonna do it. Don't say you're not gonna do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a counter spell here, right? It's possible. Wait, don't we know their hand? No, we know they have Questing Beast and Forest, but I assume they played the Forest last turn. Yeah, they played a Forest. So they're the Mystic. We know one of the two cards in their hand. Kapow. Boasted draft. Uh, current, I'll take whatever I can get under like 1500 that will allow pets and also has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Like, it's kind of specific. It's not as easy as you think. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, man. Primal, Primal Command's pretty good. It's unfortunate. That it's not bad. Yeah, it's not good. I've got five on it right now. Do you? I don't think so. I'm actually... Telequinta Inn in Clearwater. Yeah, that's... That's what I'm trying to avoid here. What odds do you give Oubliette being in Theros beyond death? That's interesting. I would have I would have said low. Oh, there's a Kozilek on the top. So now we know they have Elvish Mystic in hand, Primal in hand, and one other card. But they only have four mana here as long as... As long as I can, as long as I can untap and make two ratty boys, we're just gonna die to our own Bob. No, he's gonna hit all lands for us. You ready? See, he's so good to us. You gotta believe in the Bobbert. The Bobbert. That's What's fine. the Bobbert? What's the Bobbert? Uh -huh. I don't understand your question. Who's the Bobbert? Do you know about Bobbert? He's right here. I don't understand. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, I know. I am confused. Why? Why are you confused? You I don't know why you're confused. What have you done to me? Why have I done to you? Why have you done to me this? <laughs> My girl. You're so stupid. You are stupid, <laughs> my girl. Grim.
<clears throat> Josh, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate you, my dude. Uh, the reason cards like Thought Not Seer are not in cube is that it's just too hard to cast them, I would imagine. Like, it's just too hard to be like, get colorless mana. Like, none of the lands really produce it that are in the cube. Yeah, what Brock, what Brock said. This is our, this is our last round. This is round three. Are you okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Yeah. I feel like you're having a stroke over there. I might be. Wow, that's messed up, dude. I'm so. It's a weird thing to do. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it's not that weird when you consider we can't have four fours now. A four four been able to block and trade with this one for one. Now we have to make two three threes, and if we double block, we just lose all our rats. So. Making four fours is also the biggest uh, strategy that we had, because then we could actually fire confluence for three, kill this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and leave them with only questing beast and only wall of blossoms, which is what we were trying to go for there. Bye. I definitely am. I'll do that to the end of the year. So. Man, Kurt's just loading up this chat with of housing options. Do I just take three here, four here? What did your mommy say? I'm reading the chat. Oh, well, I mean, they're just links. Did she say she misses you? I'm not talking to my mom, goddamn. Did she it. say she misses her little baby boy? Oh, little baby boy. Thoughts on approach of the second sign of Pioneer? Interesting. Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, it's hard to say because the format just changed without Nexus of Fate and without Oko, and I haven't played much of it since then. Hmm. Considering that was just yesterday. Birds flying high. Those birds are flying high. Mike B's made of fish. What? Huh? Hmm? What? What? Michael what? B lives in the trash can. They did not primal command. Fascinating. Or and just can't get enough. Let's try not to die to uh, to Dark Confidant. One time, don't kill us. He didn't kill us. Michael Beasel makes measles. Well, you can make a rat and now fire a confluence. I mean, that's what I was going to do. Uh, one damage to each creature. Whatever. Fire it up. Get in there. I just can't get enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we can take six here. Bring. Carrick is a chunky boy. The chunky, you might say he's the chunkiest of boys. Well, <clears throat> what? Never mind. You okay? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Michael B is on time. Man, can you imagine if you block a questing beast? I was hoping, man. My fingers are so crossed right now. So we only have to do it for two, which kills this, this, this. They, now we can do it for two. 
and then also shoot their Grim Monolith, which is a lot better. Deals one damage to each creature, cast, kill this, one, two, three, four. <coughs> I just can't get enough. Clearly. Yeah, that feels good. And if they go, I'm actually, if they primal command, we I can actually direfully daredevil and gain seven, which is pretty sweet. That is a pretty sweet. And now we have 16 damage on board. If they block a rat, we can discard two cards and make this 18 damage. So they're drawing, so they have primal command and mull drifter. Five, six, seven, eight. some fish eye going on there is definitely some fish eye lens going on there do you need three bedrooms feels like a waste of space just for a garbage can wow I mean Mike's garbage can could probably just go in the living room to be honest <laughs> I think that that's this is hilarious that we're a one and that turn was very very good for us So they gain seven in search, sure. But now we can gain seven in search. Hydroid Crassus, that's a good one. That got float. But they're dead if they actually just, oh, oh. Oh, wow. So we just, wait, We they're dead. We have 23 damage. Oh, N no, the seven life is different. Yeah. 4, 8, 12, 16. Let's say they block 1, right? We take They take 18, and they lose their beast. And, yeah, we're still just alphaing here. What if they don't? Never mind. No, there, there's no way they don't block, because then we just discard 1, and then 20. Discard 2, and then they did. So hold on, let's figure this out. 4, 8, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So close. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, let's gain seven. And find a dude, right? Uh, Big gain seven, put a land on top of their deck, right? I was thinking that too, especially if we put the Lumbering Falls on top. That seems good, right? Like, we know their hand's Kozilek, and... Did they draw the Kozilek? Uh, maybe they didn't. I thought they did. I don't actually remember. The thing is, like, us going to seven means, like, most of their draws... Five, six, seven, eight. They don't have, they don't have, more, they don't have mana. We know they have Mull Drifter in hand. So they have Muldrift on one other card that I'm not sure about. You definitely gained seven, that's for sure. I think if we gain seven, we might not need anything else. Because we can bolt one of their blockers. One, two, three, four, five. They have two they have access to two mana. I'm trying to figure this out. Like, if they go block, block, we can kill one of their guys. They can only block one rat, so they're taking one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And then we can just discard two cards, so nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. Um, choose target player, and I'll put Lumbering Falls on top. And now we are at eight. The safest life. Oh my god, Kerbet's going crazy. Kerwit, you're sending so many links, my dude. Oh, they're just uh getting desperate. Yeah, that's not even a blocker then. Um Wow. So they don't know anything in their hand now? Well, we have Lumbering Falls that we know about. Ah, true. Wow, how did we come back in this game? I ain't over yet. We still came back. I don't know if we won, but we came back. 
Yeah, I was worried about this because I was like, wow, they're going to untap and do a Crassus for like eight and we have to figure out how to deal, <laughs> how to deal with that. Guess they were worried about dying to the rats. Oh, we win. They conceded. Yeah, I mean, how do you beat these? Like, they're all 5-5s five next turn. Avalanche Riders also does some. That's insane. Sword of Body and Mind? That seems good. That seems like a good one. I'm no, right. ex I'm no expert. That's about it, though. I feel like Revoker always has a target. It's like Garuk, that's it, though. And every one of their mana dorks. Oh, yeah. And Vivian Reed. Didn't they have Vivian Reed? I think that was the other game. Maybe it was this game. I don't know. All runs together, man. Who even knows what day or what time it is? Faithless or... leading for it. Yeah, that seems fine. <whistles> Pack rat is like a one in a box. You're not wrong. It's a win in a box. I mean, I feel like sort of body minds. If we if we end up getting that, that's also pretty good. We also haven't drawn Smuggler's Comper yet. This hand is great. Oh boy. Yeah, he is going crazy. Beep, beep. That was good. That was good effects. Hey man, I just gotta make it. I gotta make it live for the people. Oh, they didn't take two. Dang it! They didn't play anything either. Beep, beep. Special delivery. You wanted them to take two. Well. Our goal is to kill them. You're like, accidentally. I mean, I want them to play a two drop, though. Oh, God, here we go. Catch Finks. Shoot. That'd be real good. <laughs> I think if they go Catch and Finks here, I think we're just dead. What did you say to me? I think we just actually die. What? Why, do you, why, why would you say something like this? Why would you say something so controversial? You speak so brave. Oh. <laughs> Speaking the truth, Vivian. Oh, she did. That's fascinating. Mm, saves a couple points. You know, I guess you're right, Michael. I never really beep, beep. Here comes that jeep. Oh God, our hand is bonkers right now. It's not bad. Maybe. I mean, next time we get to Avalanche Rider, and then we get to Fiery Confluence, or Siege Gang Commander, or do all the things. Look at all these cards we have, like, access to. Bob and Bomat kind of compete for the same thing, though. Yeah, weird. like, I don't want to discard my hand that I'm drawing, that I'm filling with Bob. It's going to be the death of us. We're going to mill ourselves out. Oh, look, Kerbert linked this one they were looking at. Soul Ring, huh? That's pretty good. Man, the old turn four Soul Ring, huh? Here comes Time Twister. Here's a Time Twister. Questing Beastie. I'm just killing it. Oh, that guy did. Oh, he did. If only we could kill a soaring. That'd be sweet. I think we're still doing pretty well. They have two cards in hand. Yeah, we're doing alright. We have six damage in the hand. Halfway there. Four cards on this guy. An Eidolon, which could help. That beast is questing into the graveyard. More like trash can beast. If he dies, he dies. That beast is questing, my dudes. But he was not questing. It's a good pause. What is that? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. It's pretty good. <laughs> this guy, no. You can go away. God, just keep hitting the lands for me, my, my dude. Baby. Baby, 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 baby. This feels correct. I don't foresee them attacking as the thing. No. You can only shoot it twice. Can and will. Burn. Better, 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 better. Oh god, what is this? More big shit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's scary. You're getting us eight? That's a six. Because Michael can't six. see. He won't go to the optometrist. His, his vision's actual terrible. Not that bad. You couldn't see a six from there? It could be a six or an eight. It's like two feet away from you, man. <laughs> but it's real small. I could see it. You got laser eyes, though. Correct, because my vision was poor, and then I got them fixed. My vision ain't that bad. You keep saying that. You also can't see things, though. So, you know, it's 50-50 uh, one, half dozen of another. That's not the same. My fingers are holding up. It's behind your head, buddy. Oh, my fingers are holding up. You're holding up three now. Now two. <laughs> yeah. It ain't that bad, buddy. Oh, they got all traggy? Oh, no attacks. I like it. One day I'm going to come here and be like, I can't read the chat anymore. I know. I know you are, buddy. I know. Bada bada. Oh, this is a bad turn of events for us, really. Dark Tusk and the... Like, they're just gaining so much life. It's making it difficult. They have two cards in hand. We'll be fine. I don't know if we'll be fine. Then you don't believe. Their cards are a lot more impactful than ours. Can we even play Eidolon? Can we afford to? Why do we have to? We can just play Smuggy. Old Smuggy. I think you can just block it, right? Not if I kill this. <coughs> and then we got Smugs for days, my dude. Smugs for days. <coughs> We're going to play a white and resto as Thragtus thing. Can we concede? <laughs> no, why would we concede? We're so far ahead. So we're at 14. Oh, we're far ahead. Dude, we can smuggle away all these lands. We get to kill the city on the turn and start attacking for three in the air. If they attack with this, we easily just block and then shoot it with the goblin. Sure. Like, I just don't care about any of these things that he's doing. Like, it's like they're good cards, but, like, they're not... We could also just top deck a sort of uh, body in mind. Yeah, that would be very good. And we're drawing two cards a turn. What if it's under here? Oh, God. Actually, we're drawing three cards a turn, technically. Grimmy Monolith. Sure. I mean, they're going to cause luck soon, I bet. Yeah, that would be a bit of a problem. Well, you know what they say. That is not something that props can fix, Michael. Do you believe they have enough mana for it? Pika, pika. Pika. Bobby. Never been so happy to take three damage. Yep. <sighs> Same. Give that copter a sword. Or give anything a sword, really. Let's crew with this guy, because I don't see us blocking with him.
Beep, beep. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of Swampums. It is Swamps Day, my dude. It is. It's not. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so they can cause. Actually, Kozlek's not even the scary one because that doesn't kill a perm. Well, I mean, Annihilate's 4, though. That's pretty bad. It's not. It is, though. Okay, they play Kozlek, right? Here's what we do. We shoot them at the end of their turn. They go to 12. We attack for 5 unblockable. They go to 7. We fire a confluence for 6. And then we shoot them with the last Siege Gang Commander and they're dead. So go ahead. Play your fucking Kozilek. I dare you. Are you done? He also may be dead to the mill. If they draw 4, it's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Yeah, they'd be dead to the mill. If they have Kozilek in hand, yeah. Which is kind of funny. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. It's got to be it, right? No, this is like 6, 7, 9, 10. This is like a lot. 6, 7, 8. What? They have one card? Okay. 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 Wow. 2 1 with this deck. Woo. This felt like a kind of a thing. This is a thing. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like button, the subscribe button, slam the the donate button, slam the patreon.com slash me button, slam the Michael B button, slam the donut button, slam the hot dog button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Have a great night, guys.